Um, here is what I believe was the clip of the week that has been making the rounds. Cassie Hunt from CNN was interviewing the uh, spokesperson for Donald Trump, a young lady named uh, Carolyn Levitt. And Carolyn Levitt's another one of these just I'll say whatever and we're going to blame and we're going to point fingers and we're also going to do our favorite thing that MAGA's always do. We're going to play the victim. But first, before she plays the victim, let's show how Cassie Hunt, by the way, handled this woman. And this is how I don't, I'm not a religious guy, but let's just use this term for the lack of um, a better term or whatever. I pray that every journalist continues to do exactly what Cassie Hunt did to this woman. Okay. As professionals, uh, as they have covered uh, campaigns and interviewed uh, candidates from all sides uh, of the aisle, I'll also say that if you talk to analysts of debates uh, previous, that if you're attacking the moderators, you're usually losing. So I really want to focus well, in on what these two men are going to do and say uh, when they stand uh, on the stage. Now, now, Cassie, by the way, just kind of gave her a reason not to bring this up. She's like, if you're going to say this, that means you're losing. So let's just move on. She ignored that. And then here's her response. Uh, we have a little bit of what uh, Donald Trump, your boss, has said in trying to set expectations uh, for this debate. I want to play some of, oh, a series of his comments and then we'll talk. About Casey, Hunt. what did I say? Cassie. Cassie. Casey I'm Hunt. Like, I'm like, this one that was on MSNBC, and I'm like, I don't remember Cassie Hunt on MSNBC. And I'm like, oh, Casey. Yeah, she was on MSNBC. Thank yeah. you for correct. I, I don't know why. I guess maybe because I read the name and I thought it was Cassie Hunt. And I I don't watch, I, I just don't watch cable news as much, but I do know yeah. who she is, you know. Yeah, but. I only, right. And I, I probably would have said Cassie, but I just remember her from MSNBC. Okay. All right. So here's, um, Here's the response that, again, it was, it's just a great way to handle this kind of nonsense. Watch. Well, maybe I'm better off losing the debate. I'll, I'll make sure he says I'll lose the debate. This is what we actually maybe already I'll watched. Do something yeah. like that. I assume he's going to be uh, somebody that will be a worthy debater. Should I be tough and nasty and just say you're the worst president in history? Or should I be nice and calm? I hope he's the tough, nasty guy. <laughs> the tough, nasty. Yeah. So he's basically saying there, well, will I let uh, Joe Biden win? Uh, it does seem as though many Republicans have set the bar very low uh, in terms of arguing that Joe Biden is basically uh, senile. Uh, now you have people like Doug Burgum coming out and saying, well, uh, President Biden's very accomplished, trying to set expectations in a different place. Uh, what do you expect uh, from Joe Biden? Well, first of all, it's it would take someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump, to see that Jake Tapper has ma consistently we're stop frequently this interview if you're likely keep President Trump to Adolf Hitler. Ma'am, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating, to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about Joe Biden stating, and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are here to we, speak on his behalf, and I, I will willing to have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay. Now, uh, as I'm for sorry, this guys, debate, we're going to come back out to the panel. Cutter, Thank the you very much for your yep. time. You are welcome to come back at any point. She is welcome to <laughs> come back right, and speak yep. about Donald Trump. And Donald Trump it. will have equal Goodbye, time dummy. to Joe Biden when they both join us now. Yep. Yep. Next. Like, why the fuck are you talking about Jake Tapper? Like, you, girl, please. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> it, is, it is beautiful just to just end yeah. that interview and say, yeah. I'm not doing this anymore. You know, this, this, you see it now and you know that if you're a spokesperson for Donald Trump or if you're a sycophant or whatever it is that you are for Donald Trump and you go on CNN, you are instructed right. to say something about them, or if you're on um, one of the Sunday morning shows, you are instructed to say, this is what the mainstream media likes to do. They always want to point a finger at the mainstream media to get away from the actual question that's being asked. It's a legitimate question. Legitimate question that she could have answered. She could have just lied like they all do, right? Yeah. Like we just spew some lies, like they're not going to catch all of them, but why would you attack a colleague? That's just really stupid. <laughs> like and the that. other question is, Lana, what, what did, why do they continue to have these people? I mean, I guess it's a ratings grab in a way. Um, but, you know, at some point, for me, like CNN, quite frankly, in my estimation, my opinion, 
for way too long allowed this idea that they're the fake news. And, you know, so they kind of rolled with it, not accepting it, but they weren't fighting back because if they were fighting back, then it showed like we are biased against you. So they had to do this sort of walking on thin ice around Donald Trump and the MAGA world, which, you know, I think at some point, a lot earlier should have just said, you know what? Fuck you. I'm not going to do this shit with you. You already have one network that is a, uh, you know, propaganda network for you. So wh- I'm not going to sit here and bow down to you fucking morons anymore. I don't give a shit. Yeah. It's interesting, right? Because it's almost like Democrats need to go on Fox more often, which I know that they do. Cause I know Newsom does or whatever. And some actually do go on Fox, but it's like, but they're actually talking about policy and politics and things that matter, right? Believe their policy or not, believe them or not, at least it makes sense. But then when you try to do the same to them and say, yes, let's get them on mainstream media, interview them, get their side, they come with nonsense. It's just like they just can't, they have nothing to offer. There's yeah. zero, zero to offer. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's- It's also too, it's so rich where these people are always on another network like Fox News. Fox News is the only one at all them that had to pay. They didn't, they didn't lose a case. They settled a case for $787.5 million because they thought we're probably going to lose more. Let's settle this shit and get it over with. Right. For lying. Right. For lying. Yeah. But they, nope, full force are going to still Those point at it. CNN, point yeah. at MSNBC mm-hmm. and say, nope, you guys are the liars. So yeah. but what about the 787 million you guys? Are? Oh, fake news. There's they act CNN like it never again. happened. It's like it just never happened. It's, yeah. Yeah. Well, Dominion um, who, what? Mm. Yeah. Um, so Miss Levitt, of course, like I said, what they always do is they play victim. So what she did was she ran to the Steve Bannon show. Of course uh, she did. Luckily, Steve Bannon is somebody that we won't be hearing from for quite some time mm-hmm. in a few weeks when his disgusting ass has to go to jail. Yeah. But um, she, of course, ran to the Steve Bannon show, played victim. And also, let's see if you could pick out Steve Bannon, what he says here on behalf of Donald Trump. I've never seen such disrespect. They have never in the history of television ever, ever taken a national press secretary and treated her with such las- lack of respect. Oh, Cassie Hunt Christ. owes you an apology. CNN owes you an apology today. And we don't get that apology to Caroline Levitt and to the Trump campaign and to MAGA today. President Trump should cancel this. Hmm. Well, another let's cancel this thing. That's again, and this just happened yesterday. That's why I'm not still a hundred percent sure this is going to happen um, because Trump. But at this point, like it's funny. He's damned if he does. Yeah. Damned if he doesn't. Is he at the no going back point? Yeah. Cause if he, if he turns around now, he's going to look like a big punk, probably even to a couple of his followers because like, what what could your excuse be? He cheated. He's going to cheat. Like, what can you say? It, it has not happened. Like, yeah. yeah, he's taking like it just it doesn't what he's <laughs> shooting up like it's not going to be fair. So I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you're going to Biden wants you like Biden wants you to do it either or because they're ready for you because they already set the tone. I love that. I yeah. love this chess move. Well, I was just about to ask you, Lana, is this if if were you would you be disappointed if it were canceled? No, because Biden is they're going to run. They got ads for that right now on cue. They have ads if Donald Trump does not show up. They have those ads already saying that he's a coward. So this I is not something tweet- you need to see. Yeah, they have tweets ready <laughs> if yeah. he doesn't show up. That's going to call him a coward. Yeah. Do you want this coward running America? Like they are ready. If he shows up, they're happy because he's an idiot. Like he's just not going to be able to say anything. What he's on a losing end of everything on abortion. Wait, he's going to talk about immigration. And he's the one that told them not to sign the bill. Like, right. Yeah, social security. He's going to talk about that. And he wants to take it away. I, I I don't know what he can argue with. And again, his 
skills and able to do that are, first of all, they're not as strong for quite a few reasons in this debate. One, he's just clearly losing it. There's right. just, he doesn't have what he used to have. That's number one. Number two, he doesn't have the audience to play off of in mm -hmm. this debate. Mm -hmm. Number three, he doesn't have the mic continued to be on where he can mm -hmm. over talk. Because right. I will tell you, Lana, I, I, I don't know if I've ever felt more uncomfortable and angry in my life watching something political than when I watched that first debate. It was one of the most disgusting, yeah. ridiculous things I've ever watched. And it was an embarrassment to this, not just this country, but to the fucking world. We yeah. were embarrassed yeah. by that guy. And think about it. We have to have specific rules in place that never happened in the history of this yeah. country because yeah. of this child. Yeah. Pig. 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 He asshole be able to be on stage with the president of the United States. You're talking about a felon. Like how right. That's the other thing. How numbing is that? Like we're putting a felon on the stage, like a few feet from the president of the United States. Lana. It, That's wild. And they have the balls to say there's a two-tiered justice system. What other felon? in the history right. of this country, right. forget about running for president. Who would be able to be on the stage for a fucking spelling bee if they were a felon? <laughs> Seriously. And he's going to be in front of our president. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand that. How does he get this? How does he get this far? And he's a felon. I've said it before, Lana, if this were a movie, we'd walk out halfway through and say, this yeah, is the would. dumbest yeah. fucking thing I've ever seen. Yeah. This would yeah. never happen. This yeah. is so stupid. Yeah. Like I can under, I can suspend disbelief every once in a while, but this one's just fucking too crazy. Isn't that what Stormy Daniels said on uh, when she testified when they were trying to say that she was making up the story of like Trump and the yep. uh, uh, whatever robe, silk bathrobe. And she's like, I would, if I wouldn't make it, it wouldn't be this bad. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty good.